What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another episode of Mutt Mailbag. We got a brand new one for you guys and if you're new here or unfamiliar with this series, what we do at least once a week is answer all of your questions, community questions regarding Mutt 20, Madden 20. We got a lot of submissions once again. We're going to keep this series going as long as you guys want it to. You keep submitting questions. We'll keep making videos. We got about 40 of them that we're going to attempt to get through. But guys, if I don't answer your question or I don't get to it, don't take it personal. We'll try to answer it on the next episode. Just save it for that one. Or you can always find me on Twitch. Twitch is on your screen right there. Make sure you go give me a follow and uh, come by and hang out, especially if you've never been to a stream. I want to see all of the YouTuber watchers come over to Twitch and say hi. Come join the community over there. All right, let's get on into these questions. I have not read through any of them yet, so we're going to try to answer them off the top of our head. And if I cut the question off on the screen... It's just a usual episode for me. All right, Kev says, can you explain rookie premieres to someone who has never done them? Like what to do, uh, what you have to do to get them, keep up the great work. Thank you, Kev. You keep up the great questions. So rookie premiere, a very quick way of explaining it is 10 cards are going to come out. There'll be 10 rookies from this year's 2020 draft. And they'll get, you know, like 97, 98, 99 overall card. The overall for their card in Madden 20 doesn't really matter, to be honest, because they don't come out until the very end of the year. Like the last 30 days of Mutt 20, we'll see these. And somehow, some way, you'll have to obtain them. It's been different every year. Sometimes it's a set. Uh, sometimes it's collectibles that go into a set. I don't remember all the historical ways that we had to collect them. But they're very expensive. And basically what happens is if you complete their set, the Rookie Premier set in Madden 20, you get their card to start out Madden 21. Now, you don't get like a very high overall card. You basically get, you know, if Chase Young gets a 80 overall to start next year and you do a Chase Young Rookie Premier, assuming he gets a Rookie Premier, you will get his 80 overall to start the year off. And then say week one, he goes insane and he gets a team of the week. And they bump him to an 83. He gets an 83 team of the week. Well, then your uh, rookie premier card will then get that higher overall and bump up to an 83. And that typically lasts to like February, um, March maybe. And that's kind of how it works. Those cards become very expensive. Everything else on the auction house becomes very cheap at that time. Because basically everybody is selling their team and then using those coins uh, to buy rookie premieres, I personally, for the last at least two years, I think three, have done all ten rookie premieres. Two years ago, definitely worth it. This year, it didn't feel like it was, but I'm sure I'm going to do all ten again just to kind of be prepared. And that's kind of rookie premiere in a nutshell. What do you think the Blitz offers for draft night will be? So that's very important. I'm going to go ahead and kind of shamelessly plug my channel again. Thursday night, it appears that we will be having Blitz offers. For the first time this year and if you don't know what those are uh they're special offers that come into the stores now what they're going to be i'll take a couple guesses here because jimmy bob asked me to but i want you guys once again make sure you give me a follow on twitch because we will be live streaming draft night the first five picks from that night will be getting mutt cards we might try to get them we might not but i would imagine there's going to be limiteds and packs it's going to be a fun time and i think this whole weekend is going to be really fun stay tuned for some more news coming up upon uh, regarding this weekend but for blitz offers i fully expect so there's no alternate currency going on right now so they're either going to be training point offers coin offers or money offers in past we've had different training point you know options i'm sorry different alternate currency options but there's not one in the game right now so that makes things a little different honestly if i were you right now and i'll probably put out a separate video on this tomorrow i would try to stock up on some training because if we do get training offers guys that's going to shoot prices up, uh, probably, depending how good the offers are. I would fully expect some type of draft pack to offer, uh, Ultimate Legends offer, probably Platinum Player Packs. If you guys don't know what they are, they're the coin cards that you can get in like that weekly uh, fantasy pack. A lot of times with Blitz offers, they've done those where you get like five packs and you, know, you pull an 88. That's a lot of coin. Uh, I would probably expect power-up passes as to what overalls. I don't know, but I'm hoping like 96 through maybe 98, even 99. But we're going to drop kind of a video on it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that and, and why you should definitely load up on some training. For those of you that are watching this video right now, you're kind of getting a sneak peek at that information. So you can be ahead of all those losers who are not watching this episode. L's in the chat for them. 
All right, Daxton says, with the solos coming out on draft day, being named late round miracles, do you expect EA to drop more draft heroes that were drafted in later rounds? I was kind of disappointed that all we got was first round picks. I don't think we'll get like a whole new wave of content. If we did, that would be so amazing. And I hope that I am wrong about that. What I do think is we'll probably see some limiteds that day that maybe will, um, you know, kind of go with later round guys. But I don't expect us to get a bunch. I think the new content we're going to get for this promo is the cards we're going to get Thursday night and then Friday morning, afternoon, after, uh, you know, all the first round picks. But I don't expect like new masters or new sets. I hope I'm wrong, but I I'm just not getting my hopes up on that. Uh, when do you think ULs will start to be 99s? And do you think Moss will be a 99 since Rice got a 98? Uh, hopefully Moss is one of the nine. I think guys who should be 99s, and I'm probably missing some on this list, but I would say Bo, Moss, Vic, uh, LT. I, I know there's more, but like those four are on the top of my head. Probably TO, just because he got a playoff 96. As far as when they become 99s, probably not in April. Hopefully May, maybe mid, maybe second weekend of May. Hopefully soon, because I know a lot of us got power-up passes. Really, the only card you can use it on is, like, what, Mahomes? And is that it? And Cam Newton? It's like two quarterbacks. I want to use my 99 power-up pass. So hopefully sooner than later, but definitely May. Some point in May, I'd say before May 15th. I feel confident saying that. How many more new legends do you think we can expect? There's a few I've been waiting on uh, that were in the game last year but aren't so far this year. Again, another thing where I'm just not getting my hopes up. I don't think we see any new legends. I just feel like it's too late in the year at this point. If they do bring some in, I'd, I'd be happy. I've mentioned this before. Javon Curse, Bill Romanowski was a new one last year that's not been this year. Donovan McNabb. A lot of them are Eagles, I know, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't think Bettis has been in, the, in, in this year. Chris Carter... There's, there's a lot of them, but I, right now, would not expect any new names. And, and that's very unfortunate. But you also have to think, we got a lot of new legends this year. Like, think about all the theme builders, theme diamonds, a lot of new names. Some of them, to us, aren't considered legends, but they're still legendary players, in a sense, that weren't in Mutt before or not recently and are back in there. So I think they did, did a good job, and I, I don't really expect any new names, unfortunately. What promos can we expect coming near future? Well, we're going to finish up the draft promo. Uh, we will get rookie premieres. And then after that, I really don't know. I'm sure we'll get more promos. Will they drop a Mutt Heroes 2? That would be pretty cool, but I, I don't know. Summer Blockbuster I've talked about before was something they've done in the past. You know, hopefully we get at least two promos in May, two promos in June, and then maybe rookie premiere in July. That's really what I, you know, I have in mind. I just want to see weekly promos coming back, like something that we can look forward to, like new cards every Tuesday. You know, whether it's an NFL Rewind they've done before, they've done Final Edition, something like that, that we know every Tuesday we're going to get like five to ten new cards, not just one big promo every two weeks. That I'm kind of getting tired of, but I, I really don't know. I, I would think we probably have four good promos in us, plus rookie premiere to expect, and, and hopefully... We start those pretty soon. On offense, do you always go QB, RB, and wide receiver for abilities? Thought about trying out two wide receivers or maybe doing a left tackle. What do you think is the best combo? That's a really good question because there is this thing out there, guys, right now. And I don't know if I have my team loaded up. This could be a mistake, but okay, it's not. So there is this thing that, that's going around. I saw Gut Fox tweet about it. Zan's been talking about it. I traditionally have gone quarterback and two wide receivers. I play a running on conservative like 95% of the time, so I haven't been using abilities on my running back. I know a lot of people do, but apparently if you put uh, pass block, what is it called here? Let me go to him. So I picked up this Frank Ragnow guy, 97 overalls, like 160K. If you put pass block elite on your center, apparently it really helps with pass protection. I have not tested this, so I can't really vouch for it, but I'm going to try it probably tomorrow, probably during weekend league. So it has to be a center, and I think their pass block has to be 90 or plus, and that's stock, so you can't utilize like Ken Boost or whatnot. But traditionally, yeah, quarterback, wide receiver, running back is what most people go with. I've been doing quarterback and two wide receivers, but I'm going to try this out, and if, if it works, if it feels like it's better, because listen, I was playing house rules this weekend, 
and my offensive line would not block for anything. I was getting so frustrated. I just don't understand why did my defense not get pressure like this? Why am I getting eaten alive, shedded to death? And I saw that this was kind of like the talk of Madden lately. So we're going to have to wait and see, but I'm going to give it a try. But to answer your question, I think what you're going with is traditional. If you want to try somebody on the offensive line, try this pass block elite on your center and see how it goes. Uh, can you open the 98 draft pick pack after the draft for a specific player? Yes. I'm pretty sure that pack is a fantasy pack, but yeah, you can hang on to it. If you pick the collectible earlier, that collectible is going to turn into the player. If you just hang on to the pack, then you'll get to pick the player you want. I would recommend if you've earned that pack from house rules to just hang on to it. It kind of would be dumb to open it before the draft is even happening because you don't know how trades are going to be. Redskins are apparently talking about maybe trading the number two pick. I would hang on to your pack. Please don't open it if you haven't already. Uh, do you know why we only got one limited time card this whole draft promo and so far we get one say Thursday Do you think it'll be an offensive player? I think we'll get at least one more I don't know why we haven't got any more. I can't really answer that If you guys remember a couple years ago when we had some draft night blitz offers We did get two limiteds that came out. I know Michael Irvin was one of them But I just cannot remember who the other one was but we did have two impacts Thursday could be a really good day uh, because of the blitz offers, obviously. If we can get some limiteds plus golden tickets coming out, could be a really, really good day to open up packs. So I don't know why we haven't got more than one, but I really hope we do get more than one. With the whole 48-hour thing, I wouldn't expect one tomorrow, tomorrow being Wednesday. Hopefully we get some Thursday. Going strict no money spent next year, I plan to dedicate pretty much everything I got to head-to-head -head seasons and weekend league, no missions, no solos. Early on in the year, Nathan, you're gonna if you're going no money spent, you're gonna probably want to grind solos because, I mean, yes, you can get you're you're gonna get a little more rewarded head to head in in weekend league, but it's gonna be tough early on because you're probably not gonna have the greatest team unless you're a really really good player. I don't know how well well you play, but early in the year, solos are rewarding. You're definitely gonna want to attack the big promos that reward. Like I know early in the year, we're not gonna get these high overalls, but just think about like right now the draft promo playing you know solos you can get a free two free 97s you know house rules you get the free 98 like you're gonna want to track attack those really big rewards but when it comes to no money spent you're gonna have to spend a lot of time if you're not spending any money if you're a really good player just play head-to-head -head seasons and weekend league you'll be rewarded very well if you win a lot of games online uh, how many limiteds do you think there'll be for this promo? I'm going to guess three. The one we got, and we're going to get two on Thursday. I swear that I saw Nick Foles is getting Bears chem was I mistaken. Uh, if he hasn't already, probably check back Friday. They've been updating team chems. I don't think Nick Foles has a power-up, though, does he? I really don't know. If Nick, if Nick Foles doesn't have a power-up, he won't. If he does, he should, but also doesn't he have a veterans card? My head hurts. Check Friday. That's all I know. I'm pretty sure that every Friday, that's when they've been updating the team chems, but I don't know if they specifically named him. Uh, I'm trying to earn seven Madden coaches to upgrade my team's ability. What's the quickest, best, best method to earn trophies? I say this all the time. I hate to sound like a dick when I say it, but play the game. Play online. Uh, weekend League. House rules right now is rewarding trophies. Mutt Draft, a lot of people play because I think the competition's a little uh, not as good there, so you can try that. But literally, just play any online game mode. You can do solo battles, but solo battles, to me, is not rewarding for the time you put in. Any online game mode that earns trophies, play them. Definitely Weekend League. House Rules right now is good until Friday morning. Try to grind it out. Do you know if any more Captain cards are coming out? No. Like, new players? Not a chance. Captain collectibles, I think we'll still get more opportunity to earn them. If you've missed a couple, people who have gotten them, you know, every time going forward should have their play to a 99 overall. But no, I wouldn't expect new names to be coming out if that's what you're asking. Just new collectibles, probably a couple more. Is there a reason Brett Favre isn't in Madden? i not the right one to be asking. I have no idea. Money could be an issue. Maybe he just doesn't want to be in the game. Maybe they didn't ask him. I'd be kind of surprised if they didn't. 
I, I don't know. He was in it before, I think two or three years ago, but I don't know why he isn't. I'm sorry. Uh, Golden Ticket Vic RG3, in my opinion, the boosted carrying and possibility to get Hot Route Master and Protected are speaking for RG3. What do you think about that? I've faced more RG3s than Vic's, I can say that. Uh, I'm going to stick with Vic because he has Eagles Chem. RG3, really good card. I've played against him. He's really good. The carrying, of course, is going to help because you're going to want to run with the guy and you don't want to fumble. I play on conservative, though, so I don't run into that problem as much as probably most. Hot Route Master, uh, can, Vic can get Hot Route Master, but are, I think you're saying RG3 can get Hot Route Master and Protected. That's pretty nice. You know, I'm going with Vic, but RG3 probably has better ability, abilities if he can get those two. Uh, Josh says, who are the Eagles drafting? I don't know, because I don't watch a ton of college football. I don't know, like, who we need. I know we need wide receivers and linebackers. Like, literally, if we just draft nothing but wideouts and linebackers, I'd be happy for the full draft. That's my take. Uh, do you think the new rookies will get power-ups? No, they will not. And when do you think Bo Jackson will get a new card? Well, he just got one Thursday, the golden ticket. As far as a UL, we're probably looking 30 days out. He'll get an Ultimate Legend, but I don't think it comes out any near remotely close to when his golden ticket came out, which was this past Thursday. But I am getting that question a lot about rookie, the new rookies getting power-ups. I honestly, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe they make them special to where they can get... Uh, four abilities or three ability not abilities but get like shaker and, and sprinter and all that maybe they add that slot on there but i don't see them getting power-ups uh is it worth it to upgrade my left outside linebacker to von miller from kevin green if it's gonna cost you a lot of coin no kevin green's a really really solid card i enjoy von i've had von on my team all year he's been really really good for me so i'm not gonna make the switch but if you already have kevin green you already have him powered up I'd probably stick with Kevin Green at this point. Are you excited for the birth of mutt legend named Isaiah Simmons? I have no idea who that is. Next question. Will EA drop any more power-ups from some of the 97 draft heroes? Good question. I hope so. I don't know, but they really should. I mean, they should look at that and see a lot of these guys have, you know, got the master cards. Historically, they've done that with other big promos like this where there's a big, you know, span of... Like one overall, 97s, they've given all those guys. It was theme builders too, they did it. So hopefully they do. Will they? I don't know. Do you think we'll be able to put power-up player cards into exchange set soon? Uh, no. So if you guys don't know what he's talking about, last year you could build out sets. So you could take like a base power-up and you could use training, which at this time of the year training is stupid cheap. And you could power up that card to say an 82 overall. And then you could put that power up into a set and basically get some type of return for it. And it made having a bunch of power ups in your binder actually worth something or valuable. They took that ability away this year from the jump. And so that's why I don't believe there's any chance it would just magically all, the, all of a sudden become something you can do. I don't think so. That's my guess. Do, will you do a no money spent in Madden 21? I have been getting that question a lot lately to specifically do like a whole nother account where I do a no money spent team. And if that's something you guys want me to do, if I have the time, I mean, that's going to be very time consuming between Struggle Squad, my main team, and then trying to do a no money spent. And I do have some other ideas for different gameplay series I want to do that are actually going to start this year and coming soon. But if that's something you guys are really pushing for, really want me to do, I might not be able to start it out right away doing it in, you know, with the year, but maybe towards like October, November, we can try to start it. So yeah, if that's what you guys want to see. Do you think you'll still be able to get team captain tokens? I answered that earlier. I believe so. Yes, they did it last year. They continued to give opportunities to earn them. And I think maybe they had quick sell value. So if you didn't really need them, you could quick sell them. But I'm going to say yes. Who are two players you're hoping the Eagles draft in the first round? One for the actual theme team. And who would make a nice addition for your Eagles theme team? Again, I think I answered that one earlier. I don't know. But wide receivers and linebackers, please. Uh, who is your favorite player as a young kid? That's a great question. As a very, very young kid, some people might find this a little bit surprising because I'm an Eagles fan, but my favorite player growing up was Art Monk. He went to Syracuse University. He was a wide receiver for the Redskins. I believe he played for the Jets. I know he had one year with the Eagles. 
Uh, but Art Monk was my favorite player as a very young kid. And then Donovan McNabb pretty much has been my favorite player since he was in Syracuse to getting drafted to Philadelphia until they traded him the Redskins and he got fat and bad. Uh, best right outside linebacker suggestions. I have LT waiting on his upgrade and I don't want to pay 250 k for Clowney. I mean, at this point, you're going to have to wait for LT then because the best two right there are the two you named, either Clowney or LT. Be patient. Hopefully, LT comes soon. I have Clowney right now. I mean, another thing you can do is buy the Clowney and then just pre be prepared to sell him when LT comes out. But, uh, yeah, I mean, those are the best two pass rushing outside linebackers, in my opinion. Uh, Taylor May's abilities. I don't know because I don't use his card. But I know his golden ticket's going to be really, really expensive. So I, I don't know. But I, assuming he can get just about anything, I'm probably going like Lurker, Universal Coverage, Enforcer. And then the last one, I don't know. Because, you know, you could just put about anything. Can you add me on Xbox One? Uh, Samuel, I hate to break it to you, but Xbox One sucks. PS4, gang, 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 gang. Are we going to get solos for a free golden ticket? Pull rates are too low and far too expensive. I hope so. I don't know. Um, it, it would be something that I would love to see. They did it two years ago. I don't. We didn't have golden tickets last year. Maybe when, when all the cards come out, then they do something. Because, yeah, they are very expensive. Totally understand it, but I don't know. I'm going to say yes, they do, but I don't think they do it until like all the cards are released. When do you think they will release that new Randy? And if they do, if they'll do something about golden ticket prices, I think I just answered the golden ticket one. As far as prices, maybe the pull rates get bumped up, but I truly and really think the, the prices on these cards are so expensive is still because of the whole Color Smash reroll set. So much coin in circulation. So many people made basically free coins that when there's so much coin, it causes prices to go up on very high desire cards because so many people have enough coin that they're willing to overpay for them and then they're getting bought up if people if there was a lot of people who didn't have money to pay these ridiculous prices for these cards then people would have to undercut each other and then that would make the prices a lot cheaper uh, as far as new randy you know i think he'll be a 99 ul i would say within the next 30 days did you see Devonte adams getting an upgrade soon um i mean i think I, I think he'll get one more card this year. I don't know when or soon or what program it'll be, but I could see him getting one more. And I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. We are 22 minutes in, and I've answered so many questions, and I'm hungry. It's time to go make dinner, guys. Uh, Taco Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. If I didn't answer your questions, like I said, we'll be back uh, with another episode probably this weekend. If not, Tuesday seems to be the day for Mutt Mailbag, so definitely by next Tuesday another episode. But it really depends on what kind of content we see. Tomorrow, be on the lookout for a uh, draft blitz kind of offers promo video type thing where I go over the training market and all that. And I'm out, man. Thank you, guys. Peace.